तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन स्वरों की करो विदाई One of the biggest mistakes I made when exposing the terroristic false religion of Hinduism is saying that Hindu terrorism is kind of limited to within the Indian subcontinent. That has since been proven false multiple times, and just like Islam, Hinduism is expanding beyond their territories. Further showing that Hinduism is not any different than the Luciferian bloodthirsty false religion of Islam, the Ishmaelite idolatry that, you know, of Islam, put it that way. This is on Al Jazeera. It says, Hindu nationalists now pose a global problem. The recent UK violence should, should serve as a wake-up call. Hindu nationalism is no longer is no longer a worry, just in India. Yeah. And this, this is closer to home, too, because less than an hour away from me, there was an instance with the Hindu nationalists, which they actually mentioned in this article. It says in the article, India's uh, Hindu right-wing has long advocated for a division across the world. Overseas offshoots of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ruling BJP party have helped in this, as of ally groups like the Vishwa Hindu Parishad or World Hindu Council. Now, recent events in Leicester in the United Kingdom, this was back in like September of 2022, but it's still relevant. Uh, recent events in Leicester, uh, Leicester I think as I say it, Le not pronouncing it right, in the United Kingdom, suggests that their dream of propagating Hindu, Hindutva, their political philosophy is coming true in new ways, violently, across, and on the streets f and cities far from India. Yeah, because it's, it's a Hindu holy war. It says in the article, on September 17th, young Hindu men marched to the streets of Leicester chanting Jai Shri Ram, which is basically just their version of, of the Muslim war cry, uh, and now a Hindu nationalist war cry and attacking Muslims. This muscular brand of Hindu pride and chauvinism that the Hindu nationalists have always aspired, sorry, this is the one they've always aspired to. The tensions have long been uh, in the offing, in May, a Muslim teenager in Leicester had to be hospitalized after an unprovoked attack by a Hindu crowd. In August, after India's win against Pakistan in a cricket match, a Hindu group walked through the streets chanting death to Pakistan before attacking a Sikh man. There were similar reports after a, cricket, uh, after a cric second cricket match between the two countries that India lost. In response, a group of Muslim men have also held protests. In one instance, a man pulled down a flag outside of a Hindu religious center. Yeah, it's just two forms of Satan's kingdom fighting each other. Now here is right here, right here at home in Canada. Uh, so it says here, open threats in Canada, to, and continuing on in the article, in Canada, Hindu nationalists have been making their waves. In December of last year, anti-Sikh slogans and the Hindu swastika appeared outside of a Sikh school. Canadian academics have been harassed and faced death threats and rape threats. I actually did a video on that back in, uh, back, I think a lot, sometime around April or May of last year. Uh, from the dysphoria Hindu supporters for criticizing Modi, the Modi government in India. In June, Ron Banjuri, a Canadian Hindu nationalist, openly called for genocide of Muslims and Sikhs. He says, it is awesome what Modi is doing. Banjuri said in an interview to a YouTube channel, I support the killing of Muslims and Sikhs in the Republic of India because they deserve to die. Yeah, there's a, there's a video of him saying that. I actually saw the video myself. Continuing on in the article, Australia is witnessing an uptick in hate crimes committed by Hindus against Muslims and Sikhs. One such attacker, Vishal Sood, was eventually arrested for a series of attacks on Sikhs and was convicted and deported since his visa had expired. When he got back to India, he received a hero's welcome. Attempts have also been made by Indian authorities in Australia to silence critics of Modi and his Hindu nationalist policies. Thirteen academic fellows resigned from the Australia India Institute and the University of Melbourne citing interference from Indian High Commission and attempts to censor research and writing that presented an unflattering image of India. And it's not just with the Hindu nationalists, but criticism of Hinduism in general and insulting Hindu gods. 
will get you the same kind of violent reaction you can expect from any Muslim over in Pakistan if you mock their false prophet, their, their you know, perverted false prophet Muhammad. Why? It's two sides of the same Luciferian coin. You see, you'll have a film that comes out that insults Hindu gods. You have riots in the streets by, not by Muslims, but by Hindus. Because, you know, they get into this demonic frenzy. And, you know, the kind of videos I make, I could probably be killed over in India for this kind of stuff. The videos I make criticizing Hinduism. Because there's no, there's no free speech under a Hindu theocracy. It's no different than Islam. And stuff like this further proves that as they expand their Hindu, I guess you could call it Hindu holy jihad against all the non-Hindus. Right here in Canada too, right, right here closer to home. So I wanted to point that out. Hinduism is a false religion. It's death worship described in Proverbs 8 verse 36 and John 8 44. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye.